Amen. My eyes are turned upon Jesus and looking for that city. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm ready to walk. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm ready to take the hand of my Father. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Hallelujah. I just sit here and think about all these souls in this town that's yeah. sitting at home watching TV and all these evil contraptions that they have in their in their houses oh, and not yes, coming Lord. out to the house of the Come Lord. On. How yes. many of you? How many of you know? There's many people in this town that missed what the Lord had going on here tonight. Yes. 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 Hallelujah! Yes. Hallelujah! Yes. Hallelujah! Yes. I heard uh, my grandpa talk about one time the, that they went and looked at what the ships looked like when they when our founding fathers come over here on the Mayflower and and the, and the the, uh, the other ships, and he said they were real small. He said they weren't no bigger than, than an 8 to 15 room that they come over here on. And I got to thinking, and I think about that old song, The Good Old Gospel Ship. Yes. How many of you believe that yes. ship's not yes. going to be that big? Yes. Hallelujah. But what's going to be happening on that Amen. ship's going to feel like there's a whole country yes. upon that ship. Yes. And there is going to be a country yes. on that ship. Yes. That's going to be the country of God's children. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I thank God for His holiness power here tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just turn our raise our let's everybody raise yes. your hands and turn towards yes. heaven. Let's just have God have a Lord, as we come to you, God, we just have Lord as our hands are raised here tonight, God. Lord, we just come in and receive your spirit here tonight. And God just cleanse us from head to toe, Lord God. Cleanse our minds and cleanse our hearts, Lord God, from all the afflictions that we've taken on this world, God. This week, God. And Lord, I just ask God that your Holy Ghost will come in and turn to us, oh God. Just come into us, each and every soul, God. Oh Jesus, God, that you'll just come and make a way, God. Whether they be sitting in this house tonight or whether they be listening on the Facebook, God, or whatever it may be, God. Oh God, I just thank you and praise you tonight, God. And Lord, we just ask God that your word will be pierced upon our hearts and our minds, God. And Lord Jesus, it'll be conformed, God. And Lord, they say that we're cramming it down their throats, and God, I know, because we're Trying to get to the heart, Lord. And God, we just want to give you praise and glory and honor. Yes, in the mighty Jesus. Name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There's a testimony at hand. Amen. Yes. There's a testimony in the hands of our Father here. Yes. And it starts hallelujah. with his children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's not enough testifying going on today. Yes. Oh, come on. Right. Hallelujah. It don't have to be in this church house. Yes. It can be at your job. Right. It can be at the laundry yes. mat. Yes. It can be at the gas station. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. It may be sitting in a restaurant. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, I just want to thank him tonight. Yes. And I want to thank him for filling me with his Holy Ghost. Yes. And I want to thank him for saving my soul. Yes. And I, oh God, the greatest walk that I ever took was down there to that altar when the yes. heavenly light was coming upon me. I remember yes. thinking that night I couldn't wait to get down there. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. And I just couldn't wait to get there and see what God has. Yes. Hallelujah. And I don't know why that there's not a hunger on this day in this country. Hallelujah. There's people over in Africa. There's people over in the, in the Middle East. There's people over there in the Philippines. And they're falling on their face every day wanting to hear the word of Jesus Christ. And we've got people sitting right here in this country because these people in this country are spoiled rotten. Hallelujah. They are rotten by the bad fruit. Hallelujah. They have been, they have eaten of that forbidden tree. Hallelujah. Oh, God. They've not felt the presence of his testifying tonight like we have felt here in this house. Hallelujah. Oh, God. I just pray that there is a great revival upon this nation and that the holiness waves will just come about upon the people's hearts and their minds. Hallelujah. And that we turn over to Jesus because there is a highway that says that in Isaiah 35 and 8 and 9. It talks about there's a way and it shall be called the highway of holiness. Hallelujah. And that's the highway we need to travel tonight. Hallelujah. Oh, oh God. If you would, if you brought your Bibles here tonight, let's turn over to Acts chapter 4.
Acts chapter 4, verses 1 through 33. If you would stand with me for the reading of God's word tonight. Acts chapter 4, verses 1 through 33. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Acts 4, 1 through 33. And they spake unto the people and the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them, being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead. If you're unaware of what's going on here, Peter and John were being arrested for preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they laid hands on them and put them in hold unto the next day, for it was now in eventide. Howbeit many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about 5,000. And it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers and elders and scribes, and Ananias, the high priest, and Cephas, and John, and Alexander, and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power, by what name have ye done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole? Be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ, Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is a stone which was set at the knot of the builders, which is come the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank you, God. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled, and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. And beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do to these men? For they indeed a notable miracle hath been done by them is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem. And we cannot deny it, but that it spread no further among the people. Let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak nor teach the name the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hear, hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. Hallelujah. But we cannot speak but the things which we have seen and heard. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified God for that which was done. For the man was above 40 years old, on whom this miracle of healing was shewed. And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. And when they had heard, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which has made hell heaven and earth and sea and all that in them is. I'm going to read some more, but you may have a seat tonight here. I want to go back before I get too far ahead here. And I want to read here, and I want to say, uh, and when they had set them, back to verse 7, when they had set them in the midst, they asked, by what power, by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, uh, said unto them, ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel. How many of you believe that Peter was ready to testify at yes. that time? He was ready to give testimony uh, about what he had been filled with. Uh, yes. Hallelujah. They were starting to question it because it wasn't anything that they could be taught or what they could read. Hallelujah. How many of you believe today that without our testimony, if the world can't read it, read it or the world can't get it by doing nothing, they don't believe it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, it, there is many things that went on right at this time that I still see today. Is what they're doing real? Is those folks falling on the floor real? Is those folks running and jumping and shouting real? I'm here to tell you something today. Day. You didn't believe in God, but when you were sick, you needed healed. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And you believed in it then. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. When you needed a risen Savior, yeah. you believed yeah. in it then. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. When the almighty hand of God come down upon you, you're going to want to testify yeah. on the house. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Oh, thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. I just want to give him glory and praise yeah. tonight. Yes. I look back and I think about the day I was down at the football field. And I remember the kids sitting there next to me as I was reading the Bible and I remember him coming up to me and I started testifying to him and the whole crowd behind me started clearing out. They started moving down the bleachers and as that kid sat there he kept 
clapping his hands and shaking his fist. And I knew that something was stirring in the spirit there. And as God made a way toward the whole section of the bleachers, probably a 15 by 25 was cleared. And it was just me and him and the Lord. Hallelujah. I praise God for that testimony. Because as I laid hands on that son and that brother, he started to speak in the other tongue. Hallelujah. And as he got up, he said, I never felt like this. He lost He got to running down those bleachers. And he was just a holler in glory. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you something today. If I've got a testimony to share, I want to share it. I don't care if they come and try to arrest me. Call me Peter. Call me John. But I'm going to do the works of Jesus. Hallelujah. And that's who they were working for today. Hallelujah. There's a testimony at hand. It's sitting right here in our palms. And we need to let that go today. Hallelujah. If this, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man by what means he is made whole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody thinks they're made whole. And these people say they don't need this power from heaven. Mm. They got salvation. They were dunked in water. That's good enough. But I'm here to tell you something today. There cometh the higher power. Hallelujah. And I'm here to tell you something. If you don't have a testimony, when you receive this heavenly power from on high, you're going to have a new testimony. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Be it known unto you all and to all the people people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doeth this man stand here before you whole. I'm here to tell you something. If you're standing there whole in the Holy Ghost, there's nothing on this earth that'll come against you. Hallelujah. They were getting a little bit weary of what they were coming against. They knew that it was sent from God. It reads on down there and says that they were ignorant. They knew they were ignorant. And what they were preaching and teaching and laying hands upon, they knew that some higher power had to come from somewhere. But just like the world today, the chief priests and the elders started knocking them down, saying we cannot let this go any farther. The world's problem today is they don't have a testimony. And the world's problem today is they're arrogant. Hallelujah. They have been broke upon with the word of God in their, by their Sunday school teachers and by a little bit of sayings here that saith, God knoweth your heart. I'm here to tell you something today. If your heart's filled with evilness, God knows that too. And I'm here to tell you something. If you want to make excuse for sin and you you want to make an excuse for not going any further than your life, then he Come should out your name out of the book of life. Hallelujah. That's right. God tonight. Right. Thank you, Jesus. This is a stone which was set at naught of the builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Oh, Jesus. Everybody wants to mention the name of God, and they want to feel his spirit, but they don't want to walk like Jesus did. Hallelujah. Jesus came here to testify, to tell you that he was just from a place, and that place you shall be with me in paradise today. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the testimony of our spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. There's a testimony at hand here tonight. And it is sitting in the palms of the hands that the nail went through. Hallelujah. And the blood fell from those hands. Hallelujah. There's a testimony there. Hallelujah. To get that drink of that blood just a little bit to wash away. It will cause you something to testify. Have you ever been hot, Sister Ruby, like a while ago and took that drink of water? And you thank God for that cool drink. It made you want to testify. Thank you, Lord, for this cool water. That's what Jesus will do for you. Yes, if you right. really get a cool glass of what he's got to offer, uh, your cup's going to run it over, yes. and you will have some liquid to testify with. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Now, when they saw the bonus of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them, that they had been with Jesus. And beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. I've been places, uh, and it said, Behold, Jesus. When they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant, then they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. I've been in places before uh, and they knew what power they were dealing with but they didn't want to come out from the evil state of mind that they were in to receive it. They were afraid they were going to have to testify. Amen. Hallelujah. The church is afraid today because we've been told to come in, sit down, stand up and the song leader tells you sit down when he tells you to sit down say amen when the preacher preaches and go home. Hallelujah. We've been taught wrong. We never got the Holy Ghost 
knows that he's just about to clear our God. Hallelujah. We've been held down, pressed down, and it's time that we come out. Come on. It's time that we did get the shovel and burst open the grave. We serve a Savior. We serve a Savior that was pushed into the tomb. And he rolled the stone away. Hallelujah. And that's what the church needs to do today. We need to roll the stone away and stand up and testify. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do to these men? For that indeed a notable miracle hath been done by them as manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem. And we cannot deny it. Hallelujah. Oh, this country today, the Spirit of God's been placed in so many corners of just this country alone. There's been many missionaries uh, go across the pond uh, and go over there and witness and testify to these many third third world and poor countries. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, but I'm here to tell you something. Uh, these little holiness churches that's been started in this country and these little church of gods and these little assemblies uh, and these little full gospels uh, and these little Trinity Pentecostal churches, uh, I'm here to tell you something. There's going to be many souls that left those houses and did not take home of what they saw and they would have had something to testify about on the day of judgment. Uh, Hallelujah. And I'm here to tell you something today. We've got to rise up. Uh, we have become a mighty yes. great group of people. We have become a peculiar, peculiar people. Hallelujah. And we need to become a wide known people. Hallelujah. We need to be known just more than holy rollers. We need to be known as people of God. That's right. We need to be known as disciples of Jesus Christ. We need to be known as servants. We need to be known as prayer warriors. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Hallelujah. They can call me a tongue talker if they want to. But I'm here to tell you something today. I know with what I say is to come from the Father. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Yes. And nobody's going to turn me the other way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I'm going to flip to verse 25 and continue. Who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? How many of you believe today that the people of the heathens are raging? Amen. Uh -huh. The heathens are raging and they're imagining vain things. Hallelujah. When you've got sex trafficking going on in a country, yes. that tells you right there that there is satanic of spirits going on. When you've got abortion clinics opening up and thousands of innocent babies being killed in the sight of God, there is something wrong. That's right. The church has got to rise up and testify if there cometh a Savior. And these little miracles start there. There is many preachers and teachers and doctors and all these physicians and these great healers that are being aborted every day. And we are watching these children die. And it's our job to stand up and to testify to the people in this country. I don't care what kind of power they had. Peter and John, they went upon the chief priests and the high people and they weren't going to stop professing the word of God. They said, take me on to prison if you will, but I will not deny him. Oh, Jesus. I believe when Paul was in prison and they told him he could go, he said, why would I want to be anywhere where my Lord is not? Hallelujah. You've got to find that place in a prison cell where you can get close to God and you can Amen. testify and you're going to believe that that testimony is going to take you all the way up to glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. The kings of the earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. For of the truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius and Pilate and the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together for to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determined before to be done. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak the word by stretching forth thine hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. Oh, I've been in places before and I've had to go pray for people and I would think, oh God, when the Holy Ghost moves upon me, what are they going to think? But I had to remember that I was sent there by God and I can be taken yes. out by God if I don't testify oh, the name yeah, of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. We need to gain confidence. We've let other people put our name down. Hallelujah. We've let other people mock us and make fun of us. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. But I'm here to tell you something today. There was only one Jesus and there's going to be a small yes. group of people. Hallelujah. And we've got to make sure that we're in that number of saints. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Oh. And to do whatsoever by hand and thy counsel determined before the Lord to be done. 
before to be done. Yes. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak the word, by stretching forth thine hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of the holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken, where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy oh, Ghost. Right. And they spake the word of God with boldness. Oh, yeah. I look back, uh, and you want to talk about the old saints and the old preachers, uh, and you want to talk about the great revivals of A.A. A. Allen and all these great men of God. I'm here to tell you something today. There's people sitting right here in this crowd that could be leading that same thing. And there's people sitting right here that may be singing at that great revival. There's people here today that might be down at that altar being ushers and praying and being elders and praying for these souls that come down. Everybody is a part of the great revival if you're willing to go forward to Christ and testify. Hallelujah. Your testimony is going to take you through. There's a testimony at hand today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak the word of God with boldness. Hallelujah. Many people don't want to believe uh, that this was when the heavenly language came upon them. And I've told many people today, uh, if you was going to move over to France, uh, you could live there without speaking French. Uh, but I'm here to tell you something. You're going to have to learn the language if you're going to be a child of God. That's right. And I'm telling you something today. If you want to be a child of God, you're going to have to learn how to talk and walk this way. Hallelujah. And it starts with a language that you can testify with and pray for the brothers and sisters Amen. with that the devil does not Amen. understand. And the multitude of them that Hallelujah. believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own. But they had all things common. One thing we got in common today, church, each and every soul sitting <coughs> in this house is the Holy Ghost of God. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, and I know that God's grace is upon this house. Yes, and I know yes. that his everlasting love is upon this house. Yes, we, we may not have the same kind of hobbies at home but we got the one main father in front of us. Yes. Amen. Yes. And one thing that we share in common is Jesus Christ Amen. today. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon them all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That great grace of the power of the, of the, that came upon the apostles. Hallelujah. Was causing them to witness in the Holy Ghost. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. How many of you is going to say amen tonight? To this amen. Testimony. There is a testimony in hand. Hallelujah. And we need to reach out and grab a hold of this. Because one of these days, there's not going to be no more testimonies to be shared. And I'm here to tell you something. I'd rather stand with God and be judged by the world than stand with the world and be judged by God. Come on. Hallelujah. And I want to make sure that I'm testifying each and every day. I pray every night. God, just give me something to testify about tomorrow. Whether I see someone anywhere, I want to tell them about the Word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. I remember Brother Bobby and me and Sister Norma were sitting in a church house one night. And the brother began to preach. And he began to talk about a brother over west of Florida and over in another town. And they used to... They used to run and hide when they'd see him coming. And he'd be wanting to tell about the word of God. Well, I envy that brother today. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I don't care what other people think. I care about what my father says. <laughs> yes. And I want Hallelujah. people to run away from me when yes. they see me coming. Hallelujah. No. They, I know they're going to hear the truth. And that's what I want them to know. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want them to know that if you want to stand here, you're going to hear the truth. Yes. And you're Hallelujah. Going to the power. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Oh, God. Jesus. I just thank him for this straight narrow path yeah, tonight. Yeah, and I don't yeah, want to get off of it. Amen. amen. I want to keep on praying. I want yes. to keep on praising. Amen. And I want to keep on testifying. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Praise oh, praise God. Praise Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 24. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 24. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 24. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we don't testify in this world, have a good one, Brother Wally. Bless you. Hallelujah. And uh, I'm here to tell you something today. Uh, when we don't testify and we don't move in our spirit uh, and we don't act upon the word of God, the wiles of the devil are going to come upon you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's easy to get stale, brother. Hallelujah. Thank God. But boy, when you come out, you're ready to testify. Amen. I guarantee you 
Hallelujah, sister Janet's going to get an earful when you go home tonight. Hallelujah. Bless him, God. Thank you, yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual witnesses, witness and wickedness in high places. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. I've never seen so many people today that's on depression medicine. Yes. Come on. I've never yeah. seen so many people today that's got anxiety yeah. attacks yeah. and things yeah. that the devil wants to put upon them. Yeah. And these are saved, filled with the Holy Ghost people. people. Yes. I've been a victim before, yeah. but I'm here to tell you something. It's time you put him under your feet. Yeah. It's time you stand yeah. up and testify. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's time we get him down and to tell him what happened on that day. Yeah. And that day's going to go yeah. forth. And there's going to be many days to come yeah. just like it. Hallelujah. You need to bind that spirit of hell and depression in the name of Jesus. Right. You need to bind that anxiety in the name of Jesus. You need to forget about all the world and fleshly things here on this earth. I said there's a testimony in hand. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the day evil day, and having done all, to stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Standing, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Hallelujah. How many of you thank God for that gospel of peace? Yes, hallelujah. How many of you believe that's the Holy Ghost? Now? Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the word of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that there's fiery darts of the wicked coming at you today? That's right. Hallelujah. Very much so. Hallelujah. They're coming at you. And we got to put our shield up and testify. That's right. That's right. Say, I know who is in me is greater than he who's in the world. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Uh, praying in the Holy Ghost, in case you don't know this. Uh, we're not talking about praying in the flesh. Oh, God, come and help you. We're talking about praying. Hallelujah. We're talking about getting down like the yes. of Pentecost. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. And for me, Thank that utterance may be given unto me. Oh, here we go. That I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. You may think you're not a testifier. You may think you're drawn back in your spirit. You may think that you don't have the courage. You may say, Brother Trey, that's not me to go out and tell others. I'm here to tell you something. When Paul got found that Holy Ghost, it made him want to open his mouth boldly. He was ready to testify that he had something greater than he yeah. had before. Right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, I said the other night, I come into this world of crying and shouting, and I'm going to go out crying and shouting. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. But I come in sin, and I'm going to go out washed in the blood of pure water. Hallelujah. I want to go out pure and white as snow. Hallelujah. Yes. Living under the holiness blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that there then I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, Hallelujah. but that ye also may know my affairs and how I do. Tychus, a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, shall make known to you all things, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, that ye might know our affairs, that he might comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brethren in love with faith from God yes, the Father Lord. and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in sincerity, amen. 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 Hallelujah. amen tonight. How many of you are going to say tonight that you love Jesus? Yes, I love Jesus. How many of you? you got to throw the world behind you. That's right. Oh, Jesus. You can't worry about relationships. You can't worry about paying that bill. You can't worry about what the doctor's telling you. You can't worry about all these things. I've got some bad news from the doctors before, but I'm here to tell you something. Oh, Jesus. They may tell you you've been sick from a car accident. Uh, you may have some neurological disorders called MS. Uh, but I'm here to tell you something today. There cometh a man, uh, and his name is J-E-S-U-S. -E uh, he shall take care of that when we get home. Amen. They can give you all these letter words, but I'm here to tell you something. There's five letters, and it says it all. It was written in blood. It's there with love. And it's going to help me testify to the day I go home. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. I got a, a, two more verses for you. Matthew chapter 10, verses 32 and 33. Matthew chapter 10, verses 32 and 33. 
Matthew 10, 32 and 33. I said I got a couple more for you, but I really got a whole book here, but we don't have time. <laughs> we can do all the fasting we want, but sometime we're going to have to eat. Hallelujah. Sometime we're going to have to go. Amen. Hallelujah. But hallelujah, we'll be back sometime. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. And when we walk out those doors, uh, we're going to be prepped. We're going to be ready to yes. testify. Yes. We're going to be ready to go forward. We're going to have something to shout about. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank right. you, Jesus. Right. Matthew chapter 10, verses 32 and 33. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before man, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. Hallelujah. Yes. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. I've had many good things happen to me uh, and mom as well. Uh, and I know at first it's a little embarrassing out in public, but I can't help but share the goodness of God when I talk That's about right. something that happened. Yeah. I remember many times there might be things that mom might be healed of and I'd say, yeah, she ain't going to tell you, but God did it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I was there at one time. Hallelujah. I was afraid of what someone might say or what someone might think. Amen. But they ought to be afraid Amen. of me. Hallelujah. Right. They ought to be afraid of what I'm talking Amen. about. Hallelujah. Right. Because I know without a shadow of a doubt that I'm going to go on over. Yes. Hallelujah. I can't tell you for them because they're only acquired of their own salvation. Amen. I can't control that. Amen. But the only thing I can do is preach and teach the gospel and testify the good news. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And that's what I've come to do. Because I'm here to tell you something tonight. I'm going to confess the name of God, and I want him to confess me. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. It's time we strap that cross on our backs and we get ready to testify. Hallelujah. Oh, I just want to give him praise and glory tonight. Let's give God a clap of hands tonight. Thank you, Jesus. I come to the close of this of this uh, this message here tonight. Uh, all of these altars are going to be open here tonight, uh, and I want to thank everybody for joining in, whether they be online or wherever they may be, whether they may hear it wherever. Uh, I want that Lord to go with them, and I'm going to ask a helping hand of the Lord here in a little bit to be with each and every one of those souls tonight. Yes. And we just want to thank you and we want to praise you. Yes, but at Lord. this time, as the musicians come forward.